and welcome BBC viewers to our live coverage on stage at the Queen's Park Savannah, Port of Spain. Trinidad's Mardi Gras has been in full swing for eight hours now, and it's still going hot and strong. On stage, we have perhaps one of the most popular steel bands in Trinidad and Tobago, Whitco Desperados, hailing from Laventille, one of the working class suburbs in Port of Spain. They are portraying US sailors. For good or for ill, the idea comes from those bit of films which were produced about the Second World War, just after the Second World War. The generals, the military police, and remember, these are sailors ashore. Always with desperados on stage, we find hundreds of civilians out of costume. It's a characteristic of the band. A powerful organization, desperados. One thing about the steel band content in Carnival, the numbers of uh, masqueraders in steel bands has fallen considerably in the last 10 years or so. It's sad for me because I was a wonderful activist at the time. The Renegades in Casablanca. Those days we had two and three thousand members, but now barely a hundred, hundred and fifty. In the background, Edmund and Lil Hart's band coming up. Coming on stage for There is Sean Dictators, the king of Carnival. This costume from the king. The band is called Out of This World. And the designer is Lil Hart, wife of the band leader Edmund Hart. The family is there, hailing from Woodbrook, a suburb in the west of Port Spain. The road at Queen's Park, Savannah, the Puffinu of Sarah, and the riot of Paris. This festival has survived several colonial administrations and the restrictions on Carnival, one state of emergency, I think. And it has survived because there is a mass participation in it and thousands who view it. One of, the, one of the colonial legacies, I suspect, is the fact that the language of Carnival is full of kings and queens and monarchs and lords, ladies and dukes. And it's remarkable how we have taken a French colonial festival and translated into a mass popular festival. And one of the most coveted titles in Carnival, the king and queens of the banks. Moon here is coming, one sunny, as fierce in the times acrimonious. These finalists have survived grueling prelims and semi finals. This is the Carnival Queen for 1988, Laser Lady from Stephen Leung's Laserium, designed by Wayne Barclay. Even until the final night at Dimash Gras, the full costume is hardly ever seen, lest other competitors steal ideas or sabotage the effort. This year's Carnival King is the visitor from Edmund Hart's band Out of This World, designed and played by Sean DeFreitas. The sharp political conflict 
within the ruling party here in Trinidad was the subject of this year's Calypso Monarch's leading composition. Weston Rollins, the Calypso King of 1988, who goes by the sobriquet Crow Crow, commanded the stage and the audience in his first ever appearance here. Certain things border in me in this country, and I'm sure it border in everybody. Check your daily and read your weekly, or take off your dark shades and you're sure to see. Remember, I sing in my independent song, the nigger and the coolie craze still going on. Trump just vex with me, say I should come last. Now all your take racialism in all your mass. Robbie show in plain, he don't like coolie. And they say, oh, nigga, I ain't have no money. And while they're succeeding to mash up the party, they grant running relay in the city. Nizam could talk plain and blah, blah him out. Last Monday, Robbie kicked three of them out. My predictions were great, now I could sing ball. Three big ball, I could never live in one way. I tell them, clear the air. The public said that they want to hear. If you don't end like we on them racial affair. I demand that you call election this year. This remarkable festival, reflecting the threat and fever of the classes, the mix and metal of the masses. Solomon. This festival is music, dance, and song. Where the imagination is allowed to reign free. Realism, surrealism, fantasy. The whole range of artistic activity. All the music being played on stage now and throughout Carnival has been composed by the Calypsonians. Many of them have been singing in Calypso tents up and down the country in the weeks leading up to Carnival. Now we are graced within, with the attendance of three of the giants of the Calypso world. Roaring Lion, Lord Kitchener and the Mighty Sparrow have between them made Calypso into what it is today. Well, since we're talking about Calypso, I'll sing this one. People are interested to know where Calypso originated. People are interested to know where Calypso originated. Some said it came from Cuba. Some said British Guiana. Some content seriously, it was sung by Moses crossing the Red Sea. But I told them, no, no, oh no, Trinidad is the land of Calypso. Jump, I jump low. Trinidad is the land. Let me hear you now. No, no, oh no, Trinidad is the land of Calypso. Jump, I jump low. Trinidad is the land of Calypso. One said that in India, they sung Calypso when they are charming Cobra. Another said that Elijah, Song of Calypso in the chariot of fire, and they argued with one another, uh -huh. trying to find out the owner. <laughs> they mention every country, all but the land of La Trinity. Now, so I told them, them oh, no, 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 oh no. no. Trinidad is the land of Calypso. Calypso. Jump, I jump low. Trinidad is the land of Calypso. Yeah. <laughs> Roaring Lion was Trinidad's most popular Calypsonian throughout the 1930s. He was the first to find an international audience for the music. Lord Kitchener sang his first Calypso in 1944, won the Road March title ten times. His Calypsos are strong on storyline and humor. The mighty Sparrow won his first Calypso crown in 1956. Sparrow brought new standards of professionalism and performance to Calypso music. The country depend on the Calypsonians for the tunes 
to be played on Carnival Day. So we, the, the calibration play a very important part in Carnival because everybody is waiting to hear what the Calypsonians sing, that they should take that tune to parade on Carnival Day. So Calypso is the main thing in Carnival. You could, to add to that, you could say that it is a forerunner of Carnival. Of course it is. And all the bands would come around to the Calypso tents and to record the, uh, the tunes of the Calypsonians, if they can't find it on record. Sometimes they get it just on music sheet and they go and practice it. When you come in the tent, you see in the days we had uh, palm branches covering. And when the rain started to fall, if you didn't want to get wet, you had to dodge the drop of rain here. And he dodged the drop of rain there and both of us get together. And the result, and they end up with we laughing and talking. And I mean, it, it brought people together. He's the essence of society. Um, without him, the country would know very little about what is taking place. True. He is he, he, many things. He, he, apart from being a reporter, he's a prophet. He prophesies things as he sees them. Apart from that, he's a commentator. Well, um, I've, I've, I've always described the Calypsonian as the mouthpiece of, of the masses. Of the, on the privilege. Exactly. You understand? Exactly. But the Calypsonian, basically a man of straw, uh, he has nothing to lose. That's right. So what he does is to come out and attack anything and anyone whenever he sees that uh, it's, it's needed and in the interest of the masses. And in so doing, he plays an important role. He becomes the, the, the official opposition in many cases, yeah. especially yeah. for the period when we had uh, more or less one government for all the years and a very weak opposition. He's first to the news too. Mm -hmm. Something happened last night and this morning he's singing about it before the papers even write it. And that is a fact. Society in Trinidad for a steel band man was just as hard or even harder than that for any calypsonian don't care how you're talented you got to go outside no appreciation here society had too much false pride calypsonian really catch hell for a long time to associate yourself with them was a big crime and if your sister talk to a steel band man the family want to break she hand put she out Lick up every teeth and she mouth, pass your old gas, and that tells the whole story. The Empire Windrush brings to Britain 500 Jamaicans. Their spokesman sings his thanks to Britain. Now, may I ask you your name? Lord Kitchener. Lord Kitchener. Now, I'm told that you are really the king of Calypso singers, is that right? Yes, that's well, now, will so you true. sing for us? Right now. Yes. London is the place for me. <laughs> London, this lovely city. You can go to France or America, India, Asia, or Australia. <laughs> Me, I am speaking broad-mindedly. I am glad to know my mother country. Boom, 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 boom. I've been traveling the country years ago. This is the place I wanted to know, darling, London. Mm -hmm. This is the place for me. <laughs> I, mean, what, oh, I can't believe it was me at all. <laughs> That's, I think, 48. That's 48. When I landed in England, I was kind of the destitute. A fellow took me to a place they called the pub, which we call it a rum shop in Trinidad. I was, I was given a job to, to sing Calypso in this pub. But I remember the first night I started to sing, this is what happened. I went on the microphone and started to sing. And then a, a customer came up and took away the mic from me and told me I'm, I'm singing nonsense. So, so I just stood there amazed. And the next thing I know, I was fired. I was the type of singer that <laughs> made my name by singing on this. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. That's true. Ah, buddy. Mm. Don't call me so. Mm. I don't like mm. it. Mm. I want you to know. Mm. Mm. Don't call me so. Mm. I don't like mm. it. Mm. I want you to mm. know. When you call me all the sweet names, stupid names, mm. then you leave me and you go on. I stop to this. Mm. Mm. Well, darling, you will give me misery. Mm. Well, hear the sweet name that Bernie's calling me. Mm. She said, Kitch. 
Come go to bed. I have a small cold to scratch your head. Please don't make me cry. You know I love you. You're plain shy. <laughs> <laughs>